Windows 11 is by far one of the most popular operating systems in the world and it keeps becoming better. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candid or Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can use Copilot in Windows 11. So before we start talking about Windows Copilot, make sure that you're on the latest Windows update available for you. Copilot has launched globally so it should be on your system already installed as long as you have the latest update. Now, once you've installed the latest update, you should see a Copilot logo on your taskbar. If you don't, you're going to have to enable it. Here's how. Just right click the taskbar and then click the taskbar settings. Let the settings app open up and under taskbar items, you will see the Copilot preview slider. Go ahead and enable it and you'll see the Copilot logo pop up below. Okay, we can close the settings now. Now that you can see the Copilot logo on your taskbar, just click it and Copilot will launch. I already have a conversation with it here, but uh, that doesn't really matter. Recent activity, you can, uh, so there are a bunch of things you can do in Copilot first up. It can generate images, it can answer questions and it can control Windows functions. Last but not least, it can read your web pages in Edge. That's the only setting you can change in Copilot and it's kind of an important one. So to change that setting, just click these three vertical dots here. Click settings and enable this allow, allow Copilot to read context clues from Microsoft Edge slider. Go back. So yeah, now you can start opening apps, asking questions, basically anything that you can do with a generative AI like ChatGPT or Bing Chat or Google Bard, you can do with Copilot. It is powered by GPT-4. So there is a front on that. Let me just start a new topic. Okay, so I can also choose my conversation style. Let's go ahead with more creative and uh, let's ask it to open windows explorer hit enter it's going to take a while it's not a very fast way of opening windows explorer or any other thing you can just click the taskbar icon but yes i would like you to open file explorer and here is the file explorer it can change settings so let's say mute my pc let's give that a shot it will go and yes, sure. Would you like me to mute the audio on your PC? Yes, no thanks. No thanks, I'm good. Uh, it can also generate images. So what should we generate? Design a red sports car. Press enter. This query is once again going to take a while because it needs to work with Microsoft's uh, image generation software, which is based on da uh, DAL-E3. So it goes back to Bing Designer, powered by Dali 3 and it's running the query with a rather cool mouse interactive effect. That's nice. So it has given me four red sports cars. And then it also has some additional prompts here. So add black racing strips, make it convertible, give it sleek aerodynamic lines, whatever, whatever you want to do. There are some example prompts given up top. So Create a table that helps me plan meals, create a pop art image, write a poem, write a story, ask it questions. So let's say, what are the three best gaming laptops on the market? Press enter, give it some time and it should come back with a query. And it's already here. So I have the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i, Acer Nitro 16, and then I'm assuming some other laptop is going to show up on number three, MSI Katana 15. And yeah, that's basically all there is to using Copilot on Windows. About the Edge feature that I was talking about earlier, you can just open Microsoft Edge and uh, go to a web page. So let's go to techmeme.com. Um, I click Copilot and uh, as you can see, it can summarize the page in Microsoft Edge. So let's ask it to do exactly that. It will search your active Edge tab and pull in all the data that is there. So it's reading all of this news and bringing in everything. 
okay that's enough it can also microsoft reportedly says that copilot can also work with images so let's give that a shot let's head to a stock image site open up let's say this photo oh this is a sound um yeah give me photos okay let's open this image let's open copilot and uh, summarize the page what are the photos in microsoft edge let's try that i don't think it's going to work but you can play around in your queries to make them specific and have it oh wow this is something completely different no stop thank you summarize the page in microsoft edge i've also found that if you don't mention microsoft edge in its entirety it can sometimes just fail to detect the page at all uh, okay so now it has a summary page is from pixabay a platform offering over whatever 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 insects flowers and pollinators with options to edit download so it can see images and kind of tell you what the contents of the image is but uh, yeah i wouldn't really bank on it one problem uh, or not exactly a problem but sort of a repetitive feature here is that copilot is already present in edge so if you close this and click this button you get copilot in edge it's the exact same thing except it can't obviously interact with your computer the way copilot does but as long as it comes to web page content this is exactly the same as windows copilot so and yeah that's all there is to using copilot on windows 11 if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comment section below what more such content can we make for you if you want to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll see you in the next video.